Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Abigail. We are with Jar Landscaping LLC and Echo Means Business. Today we will be giving you guys a full review of the Echo HCA 2620 Articulating Hedge Trimmers. Yep, we have some boxwoods back here that we are going to be trimming into a hedge. So let's go ahead um, and start using these trimmers. Here's a quick glimpse of what the hedge looks like before we trim it. But let's go ahead and discuss how to operate the Echo HCA 2620S. Before doing anything, we want to give a friendly reminder to wear proper PPE whenever operating any equipment. All right, to begin, we will move the switch away from the stop position and then move our choke to cold start. You'll then pump the purge bulb until the fuel is visible and flows freely in the fuel tank return line. Once the fuel is visible, pump the bulb an additional four or five times. Next, lay the unit on a flat area, keeping it away from any obstacles. Next, grab the throttle and trigger with your left hand, and the starter rope with your right hand. You'll pull the starter rope two to three times until the engine starts. Now that the engine has started, we will pull the choke down to run. Now we will repeat the process of pulling the starter rope. Once the engine does start, this time we will let it run for a few minutes. Now let's go over this trimmer. They market it as powerful, productive, and lightweight. So let's go ahead and break it all down. First, let's go over its appearance. It does have a 33 inch shaft and it does weigh under 14 pounds. So it's not too heavy and it's not too lengthy, but it isn't too short where you can't reach over hedges and up tall shrubs. Um, whenever we were using it, we found it to be the perfect length, especially with our height. And it wasn't too heavy after a while. I could see how it might be after you're using it for an extended period of time, but I think any trimmer would be that way. So what is powering this unit? It does have a 25.4 cc professional grade two stroke engine. So it was perfect for everything that we used it on. We have used it on shrubs, hedges, and even cutting back ornamental grasses. And it was definitely powerful enough for it. Um, and it started up every single time we used it in both the cold and in the heat. Next is the two stage air filtration system. So instead of just having a main filter, it does have a pre-filter along with it. It basically aids in protecting the engine more and allowing for longer intervals between maintenance. Uh, we have not had any problems with it. We actually love how easy it is to access the filter. So you don't need any tools, um, which is great for doing maintenance on the job site or if you're just trying to be quick. Now for the fuel tank. So first we do want to mention that you should be using an 89 octane or higher grade gasoline along with a two stroke engine oil at a 50 to one ratio. So we do use this Echo Red Armor two stroke oil. It works great in all of our equipment. So we definitely recommend picking some of this up for your trimmer. Now it does have a 20.6 ounce fuel tank. This is the feature that we really love about this trimmer. Um, it's basically large enough for all of our jobs. We have not had to fill it up a single time on any of our jobs. So we definitely really love that and it does add into that productivity. The over molded hand grips. We have not noticed anything wrong with them for the amount of time that we have put onto this unit, but they do seem very comfortable even when using the trimmer for an extended period of time. Working our way up the trimmer, we do have our gear cases. It has a 4.6 to 1 gear case ratio, which gives it that extra torque to give it better cutting quality. Now, this articulating gear case. It has 10 different angles. It rotates up 45 degrees and down 90 degrees, giving it a 135 degree range. We absolutely love this feature. It allows for you to reach into tight or difficult areas, um, different shaping for different shrubs, and it adds into less fatigue when using the trimmers. The last thing we want to cover is the 21 inch 
double-sided, double reciprocating razor edge blades. Now, the cutting teeth do have three sharpened sides on them, which gives it that butter cutting quality, and we absolutely love it. Um, and it's supposed to have a longer lasting sharpness, which we've definitely noticed. So with our time using it, um, it cuts amazing. It has a clean cut to it, and we have not yet had to sharpen them. All right, so you might be wondering now, what do we dislike about these trimmers? And honestly, it was kind of hard for us to come up with something that we did not like about it. And there's still nothing that we really dislike about it. But if we are trying to be picky here, maybe if it had a different blade cover for the trimmer section. Um, I know with our HC-152s, they do have a different style cover to it. So maybe if it had something like that. Um, and then also maybe if it came with a shoulder strap just to help distribute the weight of it when operating it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it really does do the three things it's advertised to do, which is to be productive, to be lightweight, and to be powerful. Thank you everyone for watching this video. We hope you got a good insight on the Echo HCA 2620S head trimmers, and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, and we also want to thank Echo for providing us with these trimmers to test out. Um, and if you haven't already, go check out echomeansbusiness.com or the Echo Means Business app. Um, there you can find other equipment reviews and tips from other industry pros. Thank you guys so much for watching.